Hey all, it's Rolo and the Iron Shirt coming at you from Jan Tan Den. So Shirt, sure, I was up? walking down the street, right, minding my, own, minding my own business, and I heard these guys talking. Mm -hmm. They were mumbling something, and then I started to pay attention slowly, but surely I started to make out some words, and one of them mentioned something that has stuck in my mind ever since. The name was Yod Rock, Rock, Rock. Oh. I don't know what this oh. means. Oh, so, yeah. okay. holds a special place in you? my heart. So you know what it is. My first question: Do I know what it is? I it's am passionate. Question. You're passionate, I'm even passionate about Yod Rock. I'm, I'm out there. I am living my best life as a Yod Rock enthusiast. Okay, I got a two-part question. All right. Hey, do I need to own a yacht to own, to love Yacht Rock? You don't need to. Um, if you could at some point have access to one as a passenger, it might enhance the experience some point in your life. But ownership is not uh, mandatory, no. Okay, I'll... Send a text over to J.K. Rowling. See if I can sneak aboard her yacht. Uh, <laughs> I think, you know. I, honestly, I think the orcas might already have gotten to it. So, and that was my second question: <laughs> <laughs> Is Yacht Rock safe from orcas? <laughs> am I am I uh, in I danger? Think, I, th I think they find it soothing, to be honest with you. Because, like, honestly, most of the people out there driving these yachts that are getting sunk are putting on fucking drake and gj tiesto and a bunch of garbage so i think that uh the people that are playing yacht rock or the orcas are are actually probably swimming beside them beautifully i would think they're not gonna they're not gonna sink that not a chance okay so for music simps apparently music simps like myself mm -hmm. explain yacht rock Okay, so first I'll give you the Wikipedia definition of Yacht Rock, which says Yacht Rock, originally known as the West Coast Sound or adult-oriented rock, is a broad music style and aesthetic commonly associated with soft rock, one of the most commercially successful genres from the mid-1970s to the mid-1980s. And then it goes on with some other bullshit, but that's kind of, you know, honestly, like what, what I like to think is it's, it's music that, uh, makes you feel good. It's, it's not uh, heavy music. It's more like soothing, uh, sunny, happy for the most part that you could imagine listening to on the water while you're sipping a, you know, a pina colada or whatever is your mixed drink of choices. You know, a, a, there are certain drinks that are associated with it. And uh, there's actually a whole lifestyle associated with it. But yeah, that, that would be my definition. So you're telling me this is not a guitar smashing, headbang, thrashing, mod pit of a genre of music right like judas priest is not showing up at uh yacht rock 2023 no that is true yeah <laughs> so you're asking me to put my spikes away <laughs> <Yacht Rock. laughs> you gotta put your spikes away and you gotta get your boat shoes and your captain's hat and your flamingo t-shirt or button up that's what so you mid seventies to eighties. Yeah. Um, so while I got my little uh, Sailor Moon outfit on, what do I listen to? So um, some of the, I guess, pinnacle artists of yacht rock would be, let's see, Christopher Cross is up there. Michael McDonald, his solo work, as well as some of the Doobie Brothers are up there. Kenny Loggins. So give me some uh, titles with those artists, though. Okay, so like What a Fool Believes by the Doobie, Doobie Brothers would be like on the Mount Rushmore of Yacht Rock. Uh, probably Sailing by Christopher Cross would be up there. Um, let's see. What are some other 
There's actually Michael McDonald has a few solo ones I keep forgetting. That's like the name of the song. I don't keep forgetting. That's what the song is called. Uh, so, okay. So, like the Pina Colada song, you know that song? If you like yeah, Pina yeah. Coladas, we're getting it's caught a- in the rain. That That's like, I would say that's another like super uh, classic song. Steely Dan, actually. Um, a lot of their, not necessarily their entire catalog, but a lot of their, uh, a lot of their songs. And then there's there, uh, Toto. There's actually, and then there's a lot Wait, of songs. Hmm? Africa is Yacht Africa Rock. Is, Africa is, is Yacht Rock. Yes, it fits. It, yes, if you if you put on Yacht Rock Radio on Sirius XM, you will hear Africa. Are you telling me that maybe the best song ever written and performed? It's Yacht Rock. I am telling you that. This is why this <laughs> genre fucking rules. It does. I, okay, so level with me, Shirk. Mm. How close does it come to competing with Bardcore? <laughs> well, you know, I know that's your thing, so I don't know if, if this will be able to top it for you, but, I mean, it really should. Okay. I do like Africa and Mike McDonald. I keep forgetting. I'm not in love anymore. I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting. Yep. Um, I think I'm going to give it a try. What What else do you recommend? Uh, so probably Ambrosia has a song called the Biggest Part of Me, which is uh, another Yacht Rock classic. Um, Little River Band has a few. One called Lady that I like in particular um Wait, let's a lady lady yes not like the kenny rogers version no 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 this is the little river band okay so ladies and gentlemen i have a treat for you exclusively on gen 10 den we have the iron shirk singing lady <laughs> I was born at the du, 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 du. I don't know the words. So lady, lady, lady take a look at you now. You're I was there on the, the dance floor, dance floor making, making me want you want to somehow. Yeah, I don't know that song. How to sing it, but <sighs> that brought tears you, to my eyes. If you, if you want me to sing uh, the Pina Colada song, then I'll. <laughs> You've got the I'll, I'll bust that out. What about put the lime in the coconut? Is that one? It could be. I don't know. It's it wouldn't be one of the you know forefathers of it, but it it could be. I don't know. What about hey, Mister Tally Man, Tally my banana? I don't even know what that is. Oh man, he just died. Um, wow. Uh, Dang, what is this guy? He sings Deo. Deo. Uh, yeah, I don't know what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah. Um, Deo. 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 They like come and me wanna go home. Nope. <laughs> oh, God, I hate myself for not remembering one of my favorite artists of all time. <laughs> oh, Belafonte. Here we Harry Belafonte, no. But Cliff Richard, Cliff Richard has Devil Woman, I think, would be in the genre. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Okay, I know that song. Can I sing it? She's no. a devil woman with evil on her. She's just a devil woman. She'll come and get you. Wow. So you can pick up Church Track on your way out the door. You, you know, uh, Summer Breeze. Summer Breeze. Makes you feel fine. Going through the dance I think I'm done for sailing. I'm sailing it. Oh, sailing is yeah, it's classic. Yeah. You know, you know, you know, I wanted to buy a Christopher Cross t-shirt. Um, because I really fucking want one. And I found like the perfect shirt online. I'm like, all right, this is the one I'm going to... And you know how much it was? How much? $275. Canadian or American? (laughs) (laughs) 
That's if it's still not alive. <laughs> so God, if, any, if oh, anyone out there knows how to print t-shirts and can make me a Christopher Cross shirt, uh, you know, on the down low. Um, I didn't know. Send me a message. I don't know. Bella and Siago made Christopher Cross t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Why so much? Holy smokes. Just go, just buy yourself a white snake t-shirt. You're fine, man. <laughs> <laughs> but they don't count. They don't count. They don't count. They so mid seventies, early eighties. Yeah. No, so, yeah. Like very soft rock. Hmm. It's, I'm it's, trying to imagine very soft rock. What about Eddie Murphy's party all the time? <laughs> I guess not. Okay. okay. No. 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 Um. What about? I always feel like somebody's watching me. No. No. Damn. No. Okay. I'm trying to get a feel. For no, you're right. going a little more for like that's just a little bit too poppy. Well, th th these songs are poppy, but maybe like I feel like there was an end, maybe like in 1982 or something. It's where not much after that is really considered yacht rock. So, what about Valerie? Is that does that count? Valerie? Hmm. It could be. It could be on the fringes. It could be. Oh, it's, you, it's, have to sing the, you have to sing the hook for Valerie. Valerie, come in, come on me. So that's all you need to know. You actually only have to loop. Call on me, call on me, call on me, call on me. You just have to, you just have to loop that and you can put some EDM to it and you make yourself a million dollars. <laughs> But you got to put on you got to put on "What a Fool Believes" by the Doobie Brothers because that's probably the quintessential yacht rock song. Really? I have to say yes. Do you know the chorus? He had a face in his life. She never read a thing twice. When it rises to her apology. Nobody else would surely know. I don't think anyone needs to hear any more than that, but I could keep going. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> remember the first time you heard the Beatles? <laughs> same vibe. Oh, same vibe. Exactly where were the same. Where were you the first time you heard Diane Shirk? In the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Shirk, take us out with Pina Colada. Go. If you like Pina Coladas and getting caught in the rain, if you're not into health food, if you have half a brain, if you like making love at midnight on the dunes of the Cape, I'm the love that you've looked for. Come with me and escape. Well, guys, if you like content like this, please like and subscribe. If you didn't like content like this, then just like it anyways. You can hear some more shirts singing. Peace out <laughs> and bow. Bye, gang. <laughs>